The day of the Yoga Seed install and reveal, when we got there, the clients told me that they wanted a stand for their gong. We actually have a request. We have this 30-inch gong. We'd really love to integrate it into your design. They use it, and um, I hadn't initially had that in the design. So I'm a yes person with my clients. We'll get that taken care of. Yes, I don't turn down any requests, even though I might be a little tense right now. <laughs> but inside, after the clients left, I was like, oh, man, we've got to build something else while we're still continuing to do an install. I need to put our heads together and maybe yeah. think of a way to display this so they can actually use it. Fortunately, the yoga studio is just a few streets down from my workshop. So we were able to send Tony back. Oh, well, I got an idea for that freestanding deal. We've got some materials left over from a couple other jobs we've done. Okay. That I could make something to be kind of zenish, maybe? We love zen, so, dude. You know what? I've got to give Tony a huge pat on the back because I had to let him freelance the design for that gong stand, and he nailed it. I feel like Tony has really honed in on the type of design that I do for my clients. It's just the way I like it, which is large and in charge. <laughs> <laughs> so to be able to set him free to do that and him come back with a well-polished product, perfect. Oh my God, it's so different. <laughs> the minute I saw the space and I saw this gorgeous design, my thoughts stopped and my jaw just dropped open. I can't even believe what I'm seeing right now. It's beautiful.